Mama Nature is going to be making us work over the next week as we get busy, busy, busy in the weather department. Let's talk about it in this Tuesday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. <laughs> Good morning, it's Tuesday the 4th, except it's not the 4th, it's the 2nd of January 2024. I'm Texas Storm Chasers, Baldy and Chief David Reimer, and at some point over the next few weeks, I'm sure I'll be saying 2023 in one of these videos and getting made fun of it, but not today. We are going to be getting busy in the weather department, not necessarily because we're going to be dealing with multiple bouts of high impact weather, but because we're going to be dealing with multiple upper level storm systems that will bring a variety of weather to the state of Texas over the next week and however long this pattern continues and well let's just get into it this is going to be a high resolution rapid refresh model for today tonight into wednesday decent chance for showers and a few thunderstorms across the eastern half to the eastern two-thirds of texas this afternoon into tonight this will be a pretty quick hitting upper level storm system as it spins itself up into a frenzy out into the gulf of mexico on wednesday helping to draw away the heaviest thunderstorms and push itself off to the east with an upper level jet streak dipping in and kicking the system out. Some of these storms, especially right along the upper Texas Gulf Coast and southeast Texas, may get a little strong, but in all likelihood, the best chance for more organized, rowdy thunderstorms will remain offshore in the Gulf of Mexico, probably, you know, 30, 40 miles offshore, unless that surface low decides to spin itself up a little further inland, in which case some of those stronger storms may make it on to, say, Galveston Island. But in all likelihood, we're just going to be dealing with a cold rain. In terms of forecast rain totals over the next two days, we're going to be looking at the potential for about one quarter to one half inch from the Concho Valley, the big country, east into the hill country, central Texas, the Brazos Valley, east Texas, southeast Texas, the coastal plains, the Golden Triangle, and far southeast Texas. Localized rainfall amounts over one inch are possible. So we're not looking at, you know, a flooding situation, a severe storm situation, but probably some ponding on roadways, some rises on creeks and streams. But most storms, most of the rain tomorrow will be quick hitting over the span of maybe six to eight hours. And then it's out of here until Thursday and Friday. Our next storm system kicks in. Now, this one will be a bit stronger. Potential for showers and thunderstorms eastern half of Texas Thursday afternoon through Friday afternoon. Some of those storms Friday afternoon may become a bit stronger in southeast Texas in the Golden Triangle. That's going to depend on the track of a surface low. If that surface low spins itself up and intensifies on the Gulf Coast and moves into Louisiana, that'll keep most of the strong storms offshore until they get into Louisiana. But if it spins up inland over southeast Texas, that'll allow some of the more unstable air to be drawn inland by southeast winds into southeast Texas in the Golden Triangle, perhaps leading to a few strong to maybe a severe storm or two. Otherwise, areas farther north, Brazos Valley, east Texas, north Texas, central Texas, we're just looking at a repeat of today and tomorrow, with perhaps some heavier rains, given uh, slightly increased amounts of moisture. Now, in terms of what we're going to be looking at in the panhandle, this has the potential to be a little interesting. Uh, right now, pretty good snowstorm forecast and possible across Kansas, but if we see the system track a little further southeast, we may end up seeing the rain-snow line further south into the Texas panhandle. If that occurs, the potential will exist for some of these snow showers to produce snow accumulations. Right now, the best chance for accumulating snow, one inch to two inches, will be from the northwestern panhandle, Dowhart, Perryton, up in the northern panhandle, into the Oklahoma panhandle, Kansas. If this shifts south or slows down a little bit, we're going to see the potential for snow to accumulate more heavily. It's just something we're going to have to watch for, but at this point, the only place we're talking about snow accumulations for on Thursday into Friday is the panhandle. Everyone else, not it. You get no snow this time. Early next week, maybe a different story. We'll see. Uh, in terms of forecast temperatures over the next few days, well, it's not because 
So I'm so out of order. Let's just talk about the forecast rain totals with the first and second system combined. You can see moisture in the panhandle, one tenth to one quarter inch of rain or the liquid equivalent of snow. Uh, further southeast, after the first system, add in more rain from the second system. We're looking at a decent amount of one to maybe two inches of rain from the Brazos Valley, Central Texas, all the way east, southeast Texas, east Texas, the Golden Triangle, with lighter amounts farther to the north and west. And again, these will be refined, especially for the second system as we get closer. And then we're dealing with another system on Monday and Tuesday of next week, which has the potential to bring a variety of more impactful weather to Texas, the potential for severe storms in southeast Texas and east Texas, Perhaps a winter storm to the Panhandle and West Texas, along with a lot of wind. But let's deal with system number three after we get past system one and two. Now on the forecast temperatures over the next several days. Today it's going to be chilly across most of the state. Highs in the 40s and 50s with the rain. Only warm spots south side of Big Bend. Uh, far west Texas, El Paso around 58 this afternoon. And the immediate Gulf Coast. Highs 60s with 70s to almost 80 in deep south Texas, the Rio Grande Valley. So if you're looking for warm weather to South Padre Island, Brownsville, and McAllen, it is. Tomorrow's high temperatures across the state. We're going to be looking at 50s, eastern half of Texas, northern two-thirds of Texas. Cooler in deep south Texas. Instead of 70s to 80, you get 60s with 60s in the southern part of Big Bend. So tomorrow, pretty seasonable, really, for the 3rd of January. As we look at the 4th, this is Thursday. Highs only in the upper 30s, low 40s in the Panhandle, West Texas. We're looking at 50s across the southeastern two-thirds of Texas with 60s to low 70s across South Texas and the Big Bend region of Southwest Texas. Here is Friday. Not too much change. A little warmer for South Central Texas and the Edwards Plateau. 60s, 70s deep South Texas. Otherwise, we're looking at highs only in the 30s in the Panhandle with 40s and 50s elsewhere. And then on Saturday, we're going to start to see the coolest weather. Northern Panhandle, Northeast Texas, 60s, southwestern eh, third southwestern half of texas and on sunday we may see a more pronounced warm-up occur ahead of our storm system number three so again we are going to be busy over the next few days with the chance for rain thunderstorms snow you know it, it's texas if you're wondering what El Nino can be like, well, finally, we're acting like El Nino, so we'll see what happens. But again, system number one today, tomorrow, system number two, Thursday into Friday, maybe Saturday morning. We may even see a quick clipper system move through on Saturday night and Sunday with the chance for a few snow showers in the panhandle. And then the big system, which we'll continue calling system number three, Monday into Tuesday of next week. That one could be a doozy. So we'll just have to keep an eye on it all. And that's what we're going to do here at the Texas Storm Chasers and Texas Weather Center. You can get your local weather forecast, interactive weather radar, storm chasing video, daily Texas weather roundups, and more in the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app available on Apple and Android devices along with our website, texasstormchasers.com. We'll have the next Texas weather roundup out bright and early Wednesday. Y'all make it a good day. God bless. Thank you.